Hey there, I'm David Rubin, Director of Product Testing at thesleepdoctor.com. And I'm Dr. Michael Bruce, The Sleep Doctor. So Dr. Bruce, it's easy to focus solely on a mattress when upgrading your sleep space, but pillows also play an important role in providing comfort and support as well. That's right, David. That's because we're talking about a whole sleep system here, and pillows are a crucial part of that overall system. And I can tell you that there are many times I can help people sleep better just by getting them a new pillow. Remember, a pillow is a bed for your head. That's a great point. And just like beds, pillows come in all shapes and sizes. So let's talk about how you can find a pillow that's right for you. So before we talk about how to choose the right pillow, Dr. Bruce, what's the goal of a pillow anyway? I mean, most of us have a hard time sleeping without one. Yeah, so again, your pillow works together with your mattress to form this sleep system. The goal with any pillow is to keep your head in a neutral position while in line with the center of your chest. This is why you see different pillow recommendations depending upon your sleeping position. The other thing to think about is how firm or soft your mattress is. In general, you want a pillow that has an opposing relationship to your mattress in order to truly support your body. So for example, if you have a firm mattress, a firm pillow would work against your alignment and push your head out of a state of neutrality. So this is why choosing the right pillow is just as important as finding the right mattress. They really do work together. Let's chat about these different kinds of pillows. So first of all, most of us probably don't think too much about our pillows, but when we do think about them, a pillow made from down or some down alternative material is usually the first thing we think of. Yeah, that's right. Down pillows are usually made from the feathers of ducks and geese, and what that means is you usually get a pillow that's soft, breathable, and quite durable. What I like about down pillows is they're quite moldable, so depending upon the position in which you sleep, you can shift and mold the pillow just to fit you. One of the things that is important to highlight, though, is that many people have a down allergy. And a down pillow, of course, could aggravate those allergies or asthma. Many brands will take care to wash the down feathers in an attempt to remove anything that might trigger your allergies, but do a little research on any down pillow before you purchase it. If you really are allergic to down, then plenty of brands make down alternative pillows. These have a very similar feel to down, but instead, they're made with polyester or alternative fibers. These can also be a great option for those of you who want to avoid anything made from an animal product. But again, down pillows give you that really great, classic feel of a pillow, and depending upon their loft, they can be great for just about any kind of sleeper. Another popular option out there are pillows made from memory foam. Memory foam pillows are known for their ability to contour and shape to your neck and head. And because of how memory foam responds, they tend to provide really good support and really good pressure relief. And what you'll find is that memory foam pillows are either made to be just a solid block of memory foam, or they may have shredded or cut out pieces of memory foam inside. Depending upon which you choose, you could have a very different sleeping experience. For example, a pillow that's just a block of memory foam tends to be firmer and have a higher loft. This makes it a great choice for side sleepers and some back sleepers, but not ideal for most stomach sleepers. Yeah, I sleep with a pillow made from shredded memory foam, and one of the things I like about it is that it includes other materials like microfiber or shredded silk. That gives it kind of a fluffier feel and one that I can also adjust too by adding or removing fill to find just the right fit. Of course, one of the downsides of memory foams is it tends to retain heat, which means this kind of pillow isn't always the best match for people who sleep hot. And I would be especially cautious of solid blocks of memory foam. Since these do trap heat and you tend to lose most of your heat from your head, that means you sweat and it could disrupt your melatonin production. Now, many manufacturers use gel infusions or other cooling technologies with the attempt to improve that heat retention or to soften the foam. That's right. But generally speaking, these do little to really combat the heat retention of memory foam. Foam is going to be hot one way or another. The other kind of pillow you'll often see are those made from latex. Latex is a natural material that will gently cradle your head, similar to memory foam, but it's not going to trap as much heat. Now, again, similar to memory foam, latex cores can either be solid or shredded. The feel of the pillow also depends on the type of latex used within it. So for example, something made with Talalay latex has a springier feel, while Dunlop offers denser support. Latex pillows are a good option for those who like the higher density and loft of memory foam, but don't want to risk overheating. However, to be fair, the higher price points of latex pillows may be cost prohibitive for some shoppers. My preference is really those shredded latex pillows because they're adjustable. Like shredded memory foam pillows, you can usually take out or add the latex to find the right fit. I love their versatility. 
Yep, and I really like shredded latex because it's a little bit springier. I can raise and lower the loft, which is super helpful. I won't go anywhere without my shredded latex pillow. I even bring it on trips with me. I mean, once you find the right pillow, it's hard to sleep without it. As far as choosing a pillow, like with mattresses, there isn't a perfect pillow that satisfies every sleeper. When we think of the usual attributes, the type, the loft, the firmness, it really does come down to a matter of personal preference. And of course, the best model for you also depends on factors like your body type, your sleep position, and any health conditions you might have. Also, the big one, David, is price. Not everyone has the same budget, so the cost of a pillow is definitely a consideration. But as you said, with your body weight, size, and head shape all affect the way your pillow performs. When people ask me what kind of pillow they should use, I like to use the following criteria. If you're someone who's under 130 pounds, you may enjoy a plusher model that offers more cushioning. However, a thinner design can still feel supportive for sleepers in this weight category. People between 130 and 230 pounds can really pick a range of lofts and firmness levels, and it's going to come down to your sleeping position. And then sleepers over 230 pounds cause pillows to compress more because, well, they have a heavier head. So they typically require a firmer model to support that level of pressure. Aside from someone's weight, some people simply have broader shoulders, making anything smaller than a queen or king pillow feel cramped. However, if you suffer from neck or shoulder pain, you probably don't want a king-size pillow, even if you have a king-size bed. One of the things we've noticed in our testing is that king-size pillows have a tendency to let your head sink to the bottom, and you won't get that support you need. That's a really great point. The final thing we need to discuss is your sleeping position. This is a huge factor when it comes to pillow compatibility. If you're a side sleeper, you tend to do best with high loft pillows that keeps your head in the same plane as your neck and shoulders. If you're a back sleeper, I like to recommend a pillow with a low to medium loft design. This can help maintain a straighter spine throughout the night. And finally, I like to recommend stomach sleepers use a thin pillow to keep their head from straining upwards. So we've seen with pillows that you've got options, size, construction, loft, and price. Now, Dr. Bruce, are there any other tips you'd give people as they search for a pillow? One thing I like to tell people is you don't have to use the same pillow each night. You might like a different pillow one night depending upon what you did that day. So for instance, if I have a day where I'm using my shoulders a lot, say I do a lot of bench press or shoulder work, then I'm going to want a pillow to keep my head and neck in straight alignment. Or if you're someone who does a lot of computer work, maybe you're someone who works a lot at a standing desk, that could put some extra strain on your shoulder area as well. So for those nights, you might want something with a combination of memory foam and alternative down. That's a great point. Most pillows aren't one size fits all. They may have certain benefits for certain times. So don't be afraid to get a couple different options if it fits within your budget. All right, finally, most pillows should hold up for several years, but we do recommend replacing your pillow at regular intervals. Absolutely. If you notice your pillow is clumping or forming indentations, then it's a great sign that you should replace it. Yep, and monitor it for any smells too. Wash your pillowcase regularly, that should be a given. Also, some pillows you simply throw in the washing machine so it's fairly easy to wash your pillow on a regular schedule. Some pillows though, especially if they're made from down, you're unable to wash. So you might even consider adding a pillow protector, then a pillowcase, to prolong the life of your pillow. The bigger point though is that if your pillow is showing signs of wear and tear, it's probably struggling to give you the support you need. Like we said at the beginning, your pillow is part of your overall sleep system. So don't overlook just how important your pillow is in giving you solid night sleep. Well, Dr. Bruce, I think we've captured some of the main things to keep in mind when looking for a pillow. And wouldn't you know it, we have some recommendations for our favorite pillows over at thesleepdoctor.com. That's right. We've captured a range of pillows for all kinds of sleepers, so there should definitely be something on that list that's perfect for you. Well, that's it for this one. Thanks for watching. I'm David Rubin. And this is Dr. Michael Bruce, The Sleep Doctor, wishing you sweet dreams.